Overnight storms brought flooding, power outages, and downed trees, but the biggest impact is being felt right here at Jackson Dell. Got a call about five o'clock this morning. One of my custodians uh, uh, had called me, and actually he was pretty shook up because it uh, must have been pretty horrific uh, uh, sounding for him last night. It happened around four in the morning. The school immediately went on a two hour delay while maintenance director Bill Craddock and other school officials showed up right away to start assessing the damage. We could see a lot of insulation on the ground, knew something happened, but uh, it wasn't until almost daylight before we could really see the rippling in the roof. It's almost as if the, the roof on the elementary uh, lifted up uh, on the uh, east side of the northeast side of the elementary, just kind of lifted up and laid down. And the damage didn't stop there. Windows busted out of buses, a light pole destroyed, and debris thrown across the property. The, the, the scoreboard out on the softball uh, uh, field was um, uh, d destroyed, uh, and it was blown probably about, uh, oh, I don't know, I'd say about five, 600 yards. And right now, Ripley County EMA officials are collecting data to figure out exactly what happened, whether it was straight line winds or perhaps a small tornado. But one thing's for sure, the roof at the elementary school will have to be replaced. Fortunately, you know, this next week uh, we have school and then we have two weeks of uh, uh, spring break. So uh, that'd be a good time if we can get the material and everything, we can get that roof back on, wouldn't have to... Uh, bother the kids with the noise. And the school also says they're lucky that nobody was hurt. Covering Osgood, I'm Stephen Harmeyer.